unless you find the true diamond of happiness, you will never be happy seeking the pseudo shining glass of happiness. True happiness lies within simplicity of living and whole living in God. That's why God, Christ and the Masters have sent this self-realization as a new dispensation to give freedom to people, establish the temple of true happiness in the souls of men. That's what self-realization teaches. The technique of meditation, recharging the body battery with cosmic energy and helping your fellow beings. And this is our theme and we are marching on. This work has spread all over the earth and self-realization is marching on. For it is not a creed or dogma, but a science of the soul and spirit, how the soul descended from the cosmic consciousness into the earth and the body and the senses and property consciousness, how it can disengage itself from property and body consciousness by yoga concentration from the body itself and the plexus and the ganglia and reach the Christ intelligence in creation and God the Father, God consciousness beyond creation is the purpose of this work. And as you feel by the practice of Kriya Yoga, the presence of a happiness that you never felt before, the true happiness of meditation, the ever-increasing happiness of meditation produced by Kriya Yoga is the proof of the existence of God. This was the greatest thing Master told me. When I asked, what is the image of God? He said, right when you sleep, you are formless, you are sleeping in space, you are the image of God. The daytime you become a man, night time you become a God. Be a God in ecstasy, with ecstasy in the daytime, and you are God all the time. I said, that made sense. When I practiced Kriya Yoga and was filled with ecstasy, the joy that I couldn't find eating ice cream or having an automobile ride or talking to people or playing. When I sat and practiced, I found the presence of God. Church must be a church of God to give them God consciousness or it is a misnomer. It must be a living presence place of God. I find that one moon gives greater light than all the stars. One soul who loves God is greater than a thousand people in an organization who are always fighting, screeching for position and who had this and who had that. It's living. We want to live the life of Christ. That is my message to you today. That you live the life of Christ. Then you will feel the presence of Christ.